Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. 15 seconds. Break the fast. Break the fast. Break the fast. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. No. This is allegedly a clip on a Netflix show showing a Muslim woman breaking her fast with a shot of tequila while saying Bismillah, which translates as in the name of Allah. You are a disgusting person. Douche. <laughs> I'm collecting money for boreholes in the Gambia. I got one done myself. These are 100% donation. There is a routine to maintain them and they are the safest way to provide water. I know the brother doing this, donate using the link below. Some of you watching be like, at least she said Bismillah. Don't judge her. You don't know what's inside her. Uh, excuse me, we do. Alcohol. <laughs> I don't think you guys will be too surprised now because this is a trend that we're seeing not only with Netflix, but pretty much every other show. Here are a few shows that are being presented to our children. Now they are suggestive, even though your child has probably watched it, Viewers discretion is advised. You know what I'm saying? Like that is absolutely mental. Astaghfirullah. Let's take this back to Muslims, yeah? Either we're not being represented in the mainstream at all, or we're being represented as people who either are being oppressed by our religion or don't follow our religion at all. And it's getting pretty obvious that the mainstream media loves the people that just aren't practicing or are willing to change their values. I mean the example of people that don't follow their religion at all, Majid Nawaz, Sajid Javed, Sara Khan, DJ Khaled, and these are the people that are going to get the shows, that are going to get the promo, the government contracts, and the example of the others that start off from the grassroots yeah and that go in as decent Muslims and somehow end up changing their values such that they become exactly what the mainstream wants yeah you've got the likes of Sadiq Khan, Guzibe, Ilhan Omar and the likes. Now here's some exclusive footage that I managed to attain at the BBC deciding which Muslims to bring on. Alright mate, we've got to do a documentary on Muslims. Uh, sounds pretty straightforward boy, so who are we gonna call? Alright, pretty straightforward, let's see what's in Islam yeah? Uh, homosexuality is not permissible in Islam. Get a gay guy. Praying five times a day is a pillar of Islam. Get someone who doesn't pray. Free mixing is not allowed in Islam. Make it a place where you got a free mix. Quran and Hadith are the primary sources. Get people don't know all of that mate. Uh, now what boss? We see how they react in it. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Now the BBC will clearly deny this yeah. We have the evidence, no one can dispute the evidence, we heard the evidence, we saw the evidence. Now our media is privately owned and it operates under capitalism and for those guys it's not within their interests to promote Islam, rather it's in their interests to demote and degrade Islam because it sells more. Yeah. Well Islam refuses to change, yeah whilst other religions may have been quote unquote reformed, Islam refuses. You know it's crazy, Muslims get the most shit and people talk so much about them like oh they're crazy, but they're actually some of the people that actually believe and stick with the religion. Yeah, and it goes against the values of the people in power, be it materialism, consumerism, capitalism, uh, adultery. Islam is against all of this. So why on earth would they promote Islam? So Islam promotes God consciousness. It promotes speaking out against tyranny. And it teaches us that death is not the end and not to be afraid of it. And there is an everlasting life that we should aspire to, not the life of this world. So again, money. It acts as it, yeah? Love of dunya is the root of evil. Hubbu dunya ra'su kulli khati'ah. And mainstream media will continue showing Muslims doing silly things like this. 
because it is trying to normalize that sort of behavior. Because TV does give that illusion of a majority. And let's face it, we refer to it as a benchmark for our behavior, for our culture. So it not only manufactures our consent for what the powerful want to do. It's been revealed that during the Iraq war, the Pentagon paid more than half a billion dollars to a British firm to spread fake Al Qaeda videos. What? but it also manufactures our perception and understanding of culture and what's normal as well. This term manufacturing consent was coined by Noam Chomsky. His book is definitely worth reading. And the key is to keep repeating a lie till people believe it to be true. Yeah, this is a technique that was done by the Nazis. Yeah, and now we know this term as Gobelian propaganda. A lie repeated a thousand times becomes the truth. The man who said that even proved it. The lie became part of himself and the system he served. His name was Josef Goebbels. He was Nazi Germany's Minister of Propaganda. And rest assured, we see this even in the news nowadays as well. I scream, you scream, you know the rest. I scream, you scream, you know the rest. I scream, you scream, you know the rest. Well, I... Mike Myers says, yeah, baby. 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 So what's the solution? Am I just going to sit here and tell you guys this is evil and stay away? And look, 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 look. I know. I know what's practical, yeah? Telling your kids not to watch this stuff is simply not practical, yeah? But... I will say be very cautious with what you watch because it is your diet. Yeah, it does affect your mind and your daily action. And basically I feel like your diet isn't only what you eat, it's what you watch, it's what you read, it's Absolutely. what you listen to. Mm -hmm. And so I'm mindful of what I ingest. That being said, it's not always going to be practical for you to tell your kids, don't watch this and keep them, uh, keep them away from that. I mean, we don't use this mentality when it comes to other things. When they go outside, we tell them about stranger danger. If you see somebody, don't take sweets from them, don't go towards them. We don't say, oh, there's evil outside, just stay in and never go out yeah so likewise when you're watching tv yeah especially these questionable programs if you do have to watch them watch them with your kids and afterwards you have to sit down for five ten minutes go over it tell your kids what propaganda tools were being used tell them and analyze don't just walk away and let those ideas fester in their minds and go into their subconscious dissect it analyze it give them that time next time they're going to be equipped with those tools. So even when you're not around to supervise them or the teacher's not around to supervise them, they will still be able to see through the propaganda and the lies and the nonsense and the trickery. This is the best advice I can give. Equip your kids because with cartoons and stuff like that, you can't always be around, yeah? So it's not always going to be practical, but you can equip them such that they can do this themselves yeah make it a muscle memory do it with them so much that eventually when they start doing it themselves then they're gonna be they're gonna be solid mate yeah use gobelian propaganda but instead of repeating a lie repeat the truth so many times that it becomes second nature to them yeah all right guys let's leave it there until next time there is a war going on the battlefields in the mind and the prize is the soul. So let's be careful. Be very careful. Assalamu alaikum.